He's being called a miracle baby, tipping the scales at just one pound at birth. Good afternoon, I'm Denise Rosh. I'll tell you why this baby would have died if his parents hadn't driven from Arizona to Nevada to deliver. That's coming up. Can't wait for that story, Denise. New at six, you're gonna love this story on a Friday. He's the smallest patient in a unit full of preemies. A one pound miracle slowly gaining strength out at Summerlin Hospital. Good for him. Last month, an Arizona couple was told by doctors in that state that their unborn child would never survive. But News 3's Denise Rosh found they drove here to prove everybody in their home state wrong. No, you. It's a room where hushed tones are a must. It's okay, you're doing great. The NICU at Summerlin Hospital, the only home five-week-old Alexander Mejia has ever known, weighing in at just over one pound at birth. Mom Alejandra understands it's a long road ahead, delivering her baby four months premature. I don't know if I have him one week, one month, or, you know, 20 years, but every day that we get with him is, is a blessing. But it's a chance this tiny baby boy almost didn't get. The Mejias live in Phoenix and lost another pregnancy due to what's called an incompetent cervix. Alejandra says when she developed issues this time around, doctors in Arizona were less than delicate. And that's exactly how she said it. She's like, you know, everybody loses babies. It's, you know, you just have to get over it. Which is why the Mejias came to Las Vegas, asking perinatologist Dr. Paul Wilkes for help. I think it's a combination of stubbornness and faith that allows me to give couples hope when other doctors won't. Wilk says Alexander's brain scan looks good. His lungs are getting stronger. What he needs is simply to grow and learn how to feed on his own. I expect to go to Alexander's first birthday party. I expect to go to his high school graduation. I want to be at his wedding. Um, I, he is going to do fine. I just know it in my heart. To give you an idea of just how small Alexander was at birth, this is about one pound of lunch meat easily held in one hand. And over at Summerlin Hospital, they have a term for babies this small, micro preemies. And the family knows it's the care they received right here in Nevada that made all the difference. If I would have stayed in Phoenix, I, there's there's no way that he would be here right now. I mean, I've had to fight from him from the very beginning. And now it's Alexander who's fighting, stretching and kicking with every breath. He's already gained a few ounces since birth. And here in the NICU, baby steps matter. Denise Rosh, News 3. Uh, my daughter was that size when she was born, and she's our little miracle as well. Yeah, and she's mm -hmm. nice and healthy today, so we're hoping for the best for them. And, and this family, th they named the little baby Paul after the doctor. Yeah, miracles all around. If you ever doubt it,